This is pillar two. Pillar two is about making Europe a leader in technology. So for the ICT people here, that's an 8.1 billion euro program. Now, next door, Trinity College, Amber, all of these groups are inside here. Now, I want to show you a difference here between this program here and this program here. Inside here, you might be looking at e-health for aging society. Whereas here, it's about developing the e-health. Take, for example, Dermot in the e-learning, you'd be developing the tools for e-learning here, whereas in the health, you might be doing e-learning for health and so on. So there would be a different emphasis. So you could find in IT that you're in several, uh, several programs. But what I say to you is the best thing is analyze the funded projects. And you can see then which programs uh, they're in. Now down here then there's space. Now remember, space is looking down, not looking up. There was a flooding project funded inside here. So if you're doing something on marine, we need to monitor all the coast of Ireland for a certain um, micro pollution or whatever, you could actually be a project inside here. So it, it's not obvious sometimes just from the title of the program. Uh, innovation in SMEs, there's money for startup companies. Uh, I, I didn't plan to cover it today, but for you, it's, that's the program you need to look at. It, 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 it gives money to companies. Uh, what they're looking for are what they call gazelles. A company that's five people that could become 300 with a little bit of a push. So they're trying to identify the next Amazons and, and this sort of thing. And this is money for venture capital companies to invest in startups and so on. And this is pillar one. Now, normally I would say to you, don't even look at it. This is for the universities. You know, ERC, the next Nobel Prize winner. Forget it. FET is amazing. It's for crazy ideas. It's for the next big thing. Um, uh, this one I, I, I want to, but it's my favorite program. Uh, using sensors, are using plants as sensors. You know, it's for, it's for the scientists who has a crazy idea that nobody will fund them. But if it worked, you know, stay away from it, you know. But Marie Curie is for you. So I want to give you a, a tour of Marie Curie. So I, I'll, I'll briefly introduce it now. And then when I come to module three, I'll say, what are the ones that you should specifically look at? Um, research infrastructures, I, I'll skip this one. Now, I'm not going to give a whole course on Marie Curie. But I'll summarize what Marie Curie is about. Marie Curie funds people. It's about the development of the careers of scientists. Now, if you're doing research on multiple cirrhosis, Alzheimer's, diabetes, animal welfare, and if a consortium sets up a network to develop the training of those, they have to have a company or an organization like you in there so that the fellows get practical experience. So inside there, you could be a partner in the projects. So for example, if, if Marine Institute is developing a training program for scientists on marine litter, and they need somebody in there where they can spend time with you, now you get paid, the fellow gets paid, so you get free high-skilled people, and you get overheads to cover their costs and so on. Now, I, I go through these later, but this one here, Society and Enterprise Fellowship, that is actually specially for you. Now, this was only introduced last year. This is where a research center is doing research on Alzheimer's. And you're doing, looking after aging society with Alzheimer's or whatever. That person from Finland or Germany, who's a specialist, can spend two years in your organization, 100% paid. So you're bringing all this knowledge into your organization. And you get some cost to cover the overheads. I'm, I'm not an expert on that. You had Grace in talking about. Rise, as, as, as a company here today, this is very interesting for you. Suppose there's a, a Finnish research center doing research on IT for social enterprises, um, they can get money to send somebody to your organization for six months and money for you to spend money in their organization for six months. So it's transferring know-how between companies. So I said, I just added, it's called RISE. 
And this is where they mix national and European funding. But it's all about developing the careers of fellows and they're using you as a case study. So I'll come back to that slide just to summarize which are the specific ones for you.